Hello, welcome, and Happy New Year, Pisces. This is your message for January 2019 for the sign of Pisces. And um, if you haven't subscribed already to my channel, make sure you're subscribed. You turn on the notification bell because a lot of more videos are coming this year than I have done ever before. So, Pisces, let's go ahead and jump in. Let's ask your guides and guardians to come in and tell us what messages you need to hear today for the month of January 2019, Pisces. Let's take a look. Alrighty, let's take a look and see. <clears throat> Please bear with me while I shuffle your cards. As I'm shuffling, I'm already getting a sense of Pisces, you've had it. Like, you've had it. <laughs> At this point, you're just like, okay, I got it. I've done the work. I really need to figure, I really need to know what my next step is. What is it that I need to do? I am just, I've had it with the waiting. I've had it. And let's see what your guides have to say about that. Let's take a look. Again, if this message resonates with you, you're welcome to take it. If it does not, you're welcome to not take it. And go right ahead and... We go from there. Hmm. Okay. So for you, Pisces, I am seeing... <laughs> okay. I am seeing a little bit more of the um, have patience message from your guys. The reason why I say that is because I have temperance at the bottom of the deck. To me, temperance also represents the angel, Archangel Michael, um, who to me really represents a symbol of protection, patience, and um, being rewarded for your patience, okay? So this is could be a reward for your patience. Now, I'm seeing that there is a, there was a moment where you felt like abundance was here, you were very abundant, things were coming to you easily, and then all of a sudden some sort of lack started happening. You felt like you were tied up, okay? The Nine of Pentacles here tells me that you are actually a very abundant being. You are actually a person that is meant to be very prosperous, very um, abundant, not only in finances, but in other parts of your life. And maybe there are some things that have started holding you back from that, okay? I'm seeing a move here, um, maybe a move to a new state, a new city, with a partner, okay? with a, There you go, the king of swords, someone who is very good with their words, very good with their communication, very good maybe with being a diplomat and getting what they want, okay? So I'm seeing a move here, which is kind of what happened in your past. Where you are currently, Pisces, is that you're not really sure when things, when this promise of prosperity is happening for you, okay? So I'm getting a sense of past, present, and future in these, um, in these, in these cards. And here's the thing, Pisces. In your present, I'm seeing a lot of fear of lack, fear of not receiving what you asked for. Four of Pentacles here, something holding up your prosperity. This could be maybe some psychic attacks. It could be maybe some spiritual and negative energy around you that is making you feel like you don't um, deserve to have something or like abundance is not there for you, but that's not true. Okay. I'm seeing a lot of you needing to free yourself of this fear, this anxiety and this negative energy. Okay. Because that's all it is. It's all just intimidation by just a negative energy surrounding you that is telling you that things are not possible. I'm seeing the Empress here. The Empress is a symbol of abundance. So this could also mean that you're going to be looking at... Now, the Empress to me represents either March or the time of Taurus. So the number three is these are divinely guided changes that are happening in your life. So embrace the divinely guided changes. You may be afraid 
to move forward but know that this is um a divinely guided change for some reason i'm getting the symbol maybe some of you um have been thinking about moving and not really sure where to move to but for some reason i'm really getting I, i'm i'm getting the symbol of new york for you pisces i'm getting the symbol that the best place for you to grow would be someplace like new york a, a city that is um abundant that is fast paced that is prosperous would be the best place for you interestingly enough the reason why i say that is because the way that the empress is holding her lantern here it reminds me very much about of the statue of liberty so if you're out of the u.s and you're watching this video it may be some place that gives you the opportunities this could not just be new york city it could be another city that is very like new york city um where there is a lot of commerce a lot of business a lot of um prosperity and a lot of opportunity okay this is telling me here that this is definitely the right the right place for you this is also a symbol for those who are trying to get pregnant this is a symbol of fertility um pregnancy wise so you may you may find out that you are having a child between march and um between now and march um or between now and may because like i said the empress represents pregnancy um but also represents a symbol of um march and of may for me which is the time of taurus so a lot of abundance is coming your way you have to let go of that anxiety though if you want those things to come to you I have to let go of the anxiety and you have to have just a little bit more patience that patience is coming you have been very patient but it's definitely that those promises are coming i'm feeling um i'm feeling pisces that in the past you have dealt with someone whom is very actually my guy just said to me that i need to flip this because i've been reading it from the future to the past and actually what i've been saying is what's actually going to happen for you in this new year starting in january of this year in the past is this aquarius um i'm sorry is this water man this king of cups who is someone whom is usually very emotional, very manipulative, um, can be very good at manipulating his his um, his surroundings. He can be a very great person to be around, very um, emotionally available, but could also on the flip side be a little bit negative, okay? So they're actually telling me this is what you're leaving behind. You're leaving behind this man here whom has hurt you before, and who has given you a lot of promises, but has maybe under delivered on these promises. So this man is, uh, has been under delivering on his promises to you, has been giving you all these promises, giving you all these promises. And he's been kind of robbing Peter to pay Paul, if you know the saying, um, to try to fulfill the things he has been promising to you. But he's not, he really doesn't have the capability of actually giving you what it is that you're asking for. And that could be having a child or having a solid relationship, or this could even be a boss that keeps offering you um, a promotion and it's never coming, okay? So it, the my guides are telling me like, now it's time to just jump ship um and move forward because there is a new person a new um energy coming in as the king of swords who is a very good communicator whom is very connected to spirit who is going to come into your life and bring prosperity um with him or her because the king of swords could also be a female where you're going to be able to grow together and it's going to be after you make a move to a new a new location okay but you have to let go of the anxiety let go of that past person that king of cups is telling me a king of cups is not a good idea in your life it's there's it's a person that's over promising and not delivering this could be a queen of cups too um and then focus on 
this new opportunity that is being offered to you by your guides that it will deliver better on the, the abundance, the love, and the well-being that you have been asking for. And that it's going to come to terms, that it's going to come around in this month where you're going to finally realize like, hey, I've been wasting my time. I've been Nothing is a waste of time, really, because you learn lessons from everything. But, hey, I learned my lesson, and now it's time for me to move forward and embrace this abundance and this new change and this prosperity and this new person that could bring me, um, that's very connected to spirit, that is very good with um, their communication, very good, very intelligent, a very intelligent person rather than just emotional, um, that is not jealous, that is trusting, um, that is a good fit for me, okay? The bottom of the deck, like I said, is temperance, and to me, Archangel Michael, this could also represent a spiritual cleansing, needing some spiritual cleansing, needing for yourself to trust spirit, trust spirit because spirit is there looking out for you okay um for those of you who believe in the holy spirit that also represents the holy spirit so let's go ahead and take a look and see what spirit animal because i will be pulling a card from the spirit animal oracle um by colette baron reed what spirit animal would be the best fit for you um the best attitude for you to embrace for january 2019 pisces let's take a look what spirit animal all righty the deck broke right here <laughs> so funny okay so you got the same spirit animal as um aquarius as aquarius did yes aquarius um, that may be because I, I really sincerely believe that Pisces and Aquarius have a very similar relationship, um, because Aquarius has a lot of Pisces in them. So, um, Koala spirit, spirit has a plan. So we already talked about the Holy Spirit, believing in God, believing that there is a plan, there is, um, something out there looking out for you and it's going to bring what best benefits you. Getting in the flow, okay, um, the number 835 adds up to the number 8 in numerology, and that tells me that it's time for you to get in the flow by just trusting in your guides, trusting that spirit has a plan, and following the plan, okay, Aquarius didn't get a timeline or a, um, like you did, Pisces, you're getting a plan, like it's time for you to move, move to a city that's more prosperous for you, move to a place, make them the changes you need to make, let go of that relationship. It's not that, that King of Cups, he's just talking the talk. He's not actually going to give you what you're asking for. That, you know, that King of Cups could also be a Queen of Cups. Um, whoever that person is, that water sign, they're giving you a lot of talk, but there's no action backed up in that talk. The king of, of swords um, or queen of swords who is very blunt, who's very intelligent, who's very communicative, that's the right person for you. Move towards that air sign. So that will actually be a better fit. Listen to your intuition, listen to your guides, and trust that there is a plan. All right? Pisces, again, if this uh, message resonated with you, please take it. If it didn't, do not. Um, go right ahead and go like this video if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell. Many blessings to you, Pisces, in January 2019. See you next month. And don't forget to um, enjoy and trust the plan. Many blessings.